Hey guys, welcome back to my next video. Now today we're doing the final mission of the first Halo game. Now, uh, make sure to go ahead and watch this video in 1080p 60 frames per second, because I do upload all my videos now in 1080p 60 frames per second, which makes the game look pretty good. And um, we're going to just start right away. If you missed any other other missions, uh, make sure to just go ahead and go to the playlist in the description. It should be linked there. Uh, and yeah, let's get started. <clears throat> Now, as always, or as the past couple of videos have been asking for you guys to go ahead and tell me what games you guys want me to play, uh, pretty much in the next couple of videos, so just go ahead and comment, tell me which games you want me to do, and I'll end up doing them. Um, I just asked no uh, League of Legends or CSGO or anything like that. If you're wondering what this ship is, by the way, I've just kind of been on mute for a second so you guys could hear the music. Uh, this is actually the Pillar of Autumn, which was the very first ship that you saw as soon as you started playing this game or as soon as you started watching this video. Maybe. Wow, this game looks awesome. We need to get to the bridge. From there, we can use the captain's neural implants to initiate an overload of the ship's fusion engines. The explosion should damage enough systems below it to destroy the ring. Yes, sir, here. Oh, crap. Flood's already here. tell you that much. Uh, we're just gonna shoot these guys. Have them blow up. Okay, now I'll hop down. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. <laughs> I'm dodging these things left and right. Um, okay. Hello there. I didn't take too long to blow those guys up. Looks like we already found sentinels. Didn't take too long. And we got blood still. I don't remember if there's elites here. I don't think there are, because I think they're just trying to still get that ship off the island. Uh-oh. Grenade. Grenade it. Oh my god, that's a lot of them. Probably shot my flashlight off. Yeah, I'm gonna go take over for a second. <laughs> I just took a lot of damage running through those guys. Guess through here. I'm guessing. I don't really know where I'm supposed to go right now. <laughs> pretty crazy on how you pretty much end up going through all the parts where you started the mission, literally. Uh, this is like the cafeteria area where you first got your first assault, assault rifle, I think. I almost just said assault rifle. That doesn't even make sense. When you first got your assault rifle, uh, this is where you walk through. <laughs> Oh. Is there flood? Nope. I think he actually killed himself right there. Not even a chance. need you to upload into the control systems. The terminal is located next to the main view screen. Okay. I leave home for a few days and look what happens. This won't take long. There. 
That should give us enough time to make it to a lifeboat and put some distance between ourselves and Halo before the detonation. I'm afraid that's out of the question, really. Oh, hell. Ridiculous! That you would imbue a warship's AI with such a wealth of knowledge? Weren't you worried it might be captured? Or destroyed? He's in my data arrays, a local tab. You can't imagine how exciting this is! To have a record of all of our lost time! Human history, is it? Fascinating. <laughs> Oh, how I will enjoy every moment of its categorization! To think that you would destroy this installation as well as this record! I am shocked. Almost too shocked for words. Well then. <laughs> we start the self-destruct sequence. Why do you continue to fight us, Reclaimer? You cannot win! Give us the construct, and I will endeavor to make your death relatively famous and- At least I still have control over the comm channels. Where is he? I'm detecting taps throughout the ship. Sentinels, most likely. As for the monitor, he's in engineering. He must be trying to take the core offline. Even if I could get the countdown restarted, I don't know what to do. How much firepower would you need to crack one of the engine shields? Not much. A well-placed grenade, perhaps, but why... Okay, I'm coming with you. <laughs> Chief, Sentinels! Oh crap. Boom. Take them all out. Didn't take too long. The ship was heavily damaged when it crashed. Head to the cryo chamber. You should be able to get to the engine room through the Okay. I'm on my way there. And we got a lot of blood. Didn't take too long to find them. This is where they start to really get tough. They all have guns now. It's no longer no guns at all. It's a little bit more easier when they didn't have guns. Is there any guns in this? I guess not. <coughs> yep, don't even want to fight. I'm going to keep walking. You guys can have a fun time shooting each other. <laughs> I'm kind of just like, nope, not even fighting. Don't want to. Oh crap, we got sentinels here. Die. You know what? Yeah, they're dead. Oh my god. <laughs> so many of these little guys. I absolutely hate to fight them though. <clears throat> Boom. Oh, God, there's another one. There we go. Pretty sure in Halo 2 you're actually able to pick up that gun that the Sentinel uses uh, to pretty much attack you. Oh God. There's a lot of guys here. Hello there. <laughs> I don't see you anymore there. Uh, I think we go through here. Oh. Um, not through there. Oh my god, so many of them. Um, well, there's an overshield. I'm trying to figure out, like, where we go. Probably should just follow the enemies. Or, actually, this looks like where you should just go. We could go through here. I took him out. That was pretty simple. <laughs> Looks like I'm not going through there anytime soon. 
I did say I don't think there's blood. Now I hear blood. Oh wait, the Sentinels and everyone are killing each other. It's literally, uh... How many people are fighting? There's blood, and then there's Covenant, and then there's Sentinels, and then there's me. <laughs> there's four people fighting each other, and none of them are friendly. So. Oh, I actually took him out. Die, you Wanna fight? Fight me. Yeah, he's down. It's kind of nice is when they're shooting each other, you can kind of just like run by and they don't even notice. You know, I'm gonna have to take these sentinels out. <clears throat> Catch my grenade. Hold on. Uh, they're all dead. That works. Says there's a guy behind me. See you. Oh, there's more than one. I'm not gonna fight. <laughs> if there's gonna be that many, I'm not even gonna try. <clears throat> Probably we go through here. Yep, yeah, there we go. This is where you get your big guns. <laughs> uh, what should we pick up? Looks like there's only assault rifles and rocket launchers. Oh. Wow, blood can go now invisible. Okay. Uh, I just had to quick grab something. Uh, I think we're gonna grab shotguns, and blood can now go invisible, so this is gonna be uh, pretty. Seriously, they gave me a no ammo shotgun? Really, right now? There we go. There's some ammo. <laughs> this is fun. This many flood. Perfect. <laughs> uh, is ammo? Yeah, there it goes. Shotgun ammunition. <laughs> Wait, what? Okay, I guess we don't go through there. I guess this is just kind of like one of those optional places you could walk into. Uh, maybe through here. I kind of lost right now. Yeah, this is it. <laughs> Engine room located. We're here. Alert. The monitor has disabled all command access. We can't restart the count now. The only remaining option is to detonate the ship's and reactors. That should do enough damage to destroy Halo. Don't worry, I have access to all of the reactor schematics and procedures. I'll walk you through it. First, we need okay, to pull good. back the exhaust coupling. That will expose a shaft that leads to the primary fusion drive core. I think we can just hop on top of this. Or not. Uh, how do we get up there? You know, I don't feel like parkouring. It's kind of hard in Halo to parkour, so we're just gonna run back down. Sounds like the flood's breaking out of somewhere, so that means that we're gonna be fighting a couple more people. My stupid monitor. I don't think you can actually shoot him. It kind of stinks in a way. Uh, I forgot if, how you even like take him out. I don't even remember really. Uh, do we go over here? Looks exactly the same like the other side, but I think this leads up a little bit farther than the other side. Yeah, it looks different already. Pretty much what you have to do is you press that and these beams will move far away and then you gotta throw a grenade or shoot a rocket launcher into the little like orange square areas and then it pretty much blows up and you gotta do it three more times. Yeah, I'll show you. It's pretty simple. So you press that. Good. Step one complete. Moves it. Straight shot into the fusion reactor. And then as soon as these things open. Like that. That's simple. 
I recommend a grenade or rocket. Run out of it. And we have plenty of rockets, so this will be easy. I'm gonna take these guys out real quick though. There's a lot of blood. And we just need these things to open. Go and open. Open, open, open. There we go. And just hop back up here and go to the other side. I'm just kind of running through these things. Because I don't want to take too much time fighting in here. Oh, wait. Oh, they're already closed. I'll have to just wait a second. And it'll open back up. Boom. Like so. Keep it up. Only one more fusion reactor to go. It's pretty crazy that they made it so the ship can blow up that easily. And it can blow up the planet that it's on. <laughs> that is pretty bad. I'm gonna take these guys out. It spawns more of these guys every time I do one of those things. Which, uh, kinda tough. Fighting all these things and doing an objective. No, I'm not pressing it. There we go. Oh, hello there. It's not opened yet. There we go. Now it looks like the ship's about to blow up. That did it. The engine's gone critical. It did it. Some correct rate of decay. We should have 15 minutes to get off the ship. Don't have much time. We should move outside and signal for evac. Accessing schematics. There's a service lift at the top of the engine room. It leads to a class 7 service corridor that runs along the ship's dorsal structure. Hurry. Mm, don't worry, I'm hurrying. Mm, looks like I'm gonna hop down here. Gotta run through. This whole place is blowing up. <laughs> uh, I think we have to go this way. Come on. I can't let him make it. Kind of wish there was like a sprint button. They added that in Halo 4 though. The whole entire sprint mechanism. Uh, which is a pretty cool addition. I don't know if you guys played Halo 5 Guardians, uh, I personally did not, I only played the multiplayer, but multiplayer I was never really too much a fan of, except in Reach, I was really a fan of for Reach. Um, they had an amazing multiplayer, I don't know what they did really, besides that it was a really open vibe and a lot of different game modes with vehicles and blowing each other up and stuff, uh, but it was pretty fun. I don't know, I didn't really like the beta for Halo 5 Guardians, they changed too much the way I feel. But I guess it's just gonna be like we just have to get a little bit used to it, and then it'll be a uh, brand new game. Hello there. Nope, don't wanna do this. Don't wanna do this. I think we don't have to press anything. Pretty sure we just stand on this thing. Well then. <laughs> I absolutely hate driving these things through this area. One hundred million degrees. Oh, that's not that hot at all. Oh, this is bad. Nope, not making that. Problem with this uh, mission is it takes a lot of practice. I think I'll be able to get this on the first try uh, to pretty much go through this whole thing. Uh, it's a lot of like parkour and jumps with the Ford Hog to get there on time, and uh, if you flip over, 
you have to start fighting on foot for a second, and it gets pretty hard to do. We should be able to make this jump. Good. Right now we're driving to be picked up by a pelican, which was the first pelican driver that uh, you met in the third mission. I think it was the third mission. Her name was Bowhammer. I remember making the, uh, oh crap, I flipped over. I flipped over. I gotta get back in. Taking so much damage. If you do this actually on multiplayer, because you can do co-op on a campaign mission, your friend can hop on the minigun turret and shoot everything as you're driving, which helps a lot, because you can shoot all the guys that are shooting at you. And this, you can't really do anything except just be shot. Oh my god. <laughs> Trying to hit these little jumps, because they're uh, a little bit easier to drive around. I don't think we make the jump. Um, yeah, that's a wall. I knew it. I knew that. I'm pretty sure there's actually a skull near this area. Somewhere in this area, it's like you go to a different area and then uh, there's a skull in it. I don't remember exactly where it is. We have four minutes to get to that 700 meter mark. That's not good. Three minutes. We can do it. It's 500 meters. It's only 500 meters. Oh crap. Yeah, I didn't make that. We gotta drop on this side. For a second. This is bad. This is kind of delaying us right now. Should be able to make it though. See, this is what I mean though. Like, if you miss your jump, it's kind of hard. Uh, whoa. Don't flip. Uh, I think this is where we're supposed to go. Yeah, right here. Wait, Not stop. Just park. This is where Bohammer is coming to pick us up. Hold position here. Cortana to Echo oh, 419. Crap. She's on Two Covenant Manchis are approaching on your six. Evade. Say again. Evade. Oh god. Yeah, it looks like I'm gonna run over here. One thousand meters. <laughs> Three minutes. Three minutes to go a thousand meters. I think that's a thousand meters. One kilometer. I don't know what KM is actually. It's probably kilometer. Whoa! Nine hundred meters. Should be able to make it. Not that far. I have three minutes to drive through an like, exploding ship that if I don't make it, I'm going to be in a million degree explosion. Yeah, I'll make it. I just need to use nitrous. <laughs> nitrous around all corners. Oh, great. So now I have to be at top speed. Well, didn't clear that one. I thought I'd have like no visibility through that thing. Well, looks like I'm not getting through here. I'm running. Go on foot. Two minutes to get through. I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I made it.
Shut the engines down. <laughs> Ta-da! The hint of an exhaler game. 